Hey, Gemini, Libra and Aquarius, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus and Rising and those of you cross-watching, welcome to your Tarot Love Messages. Today we're going to take a look at and see whether you are in a twin flame or a soulmate-based soulmate based type of love. So we'll see whether your romantic energy is a twin flame or a soulmate, one or the other. Um, you know, and what is the future of this connection? What is it that you need to know about them or this connection? This is going to be a general read, guys, so please just keep that in mind. If you're after a personal tarot reading with myself, please feel free to um, inquire. I will list my email address just below the video here. Alright guys, with that being said, let's go ahead and begin. I done here bear with me I've done something Okay, all these sprouting ones tell me that it, it just feels like this is possibly a twin flame that you're dealing with, okay? I feel like it's intense, isn't it? And the two of you have quite a grip, quite um, a hold on each other. Now, for some of you, the five of wands, it's the first card to have come out, and I do feel like there is some tension here. Twin flame... Um, connections can be very intense they can be very challenging very unpredictable here um, it's something that you can never truly prepare for because of the intensity here but for a lot of you I feel like for a lot of you I the message that I'm getting right now is especially with the conflict or the tension that you're experiencing here some of you may be going, um, you may be in the runner chaser phase of your relationship. You may be going through a separation, a complete disconnection where the two of you are not talking. Um, you know, you're just not vibrationally um, matched or aligned with one another right now. I feel like the best thing you can do for yourself right now, guys, is to, um, you know, is to give yourself this pure divine love here. Okay, because... You cannot expect to give love or share joy with others if you're not full of it yourself. You can't expect to fill up anyone else's chalice, you know, with these richness um, of emotions, love and joy and happiness if you don't have it yourself. So I feel like there's a lot that's going on right now, especially emotionally and internally. I feel like you guys are going through some things. I do feel like there's a lot of tension. Um, there's a lot of conflict, a lot of friction you know that I'm picking up but I feel like I'm seeing that underneath it there's a lot of passion too you guys are very passionate here some of you are going through a breakup with your uh, twin flame here Okay, just remember if it's not rocking, if it's not intense, if there's no tension, then it's not a twin flame connection. So I feel like, you know, that's definitely one way of sort of, um, I guess, you know, understanding it. It's like twin flame connections are not easy. Okay, they're not smooth sailing here. 
if the boat's you know not rocking here in the seas then it's not twin flame here um, i feel like something about this connection tells me that you're both kind of highlighting each other's insecurities right now and these can be jealousy one is coming through very strongly here um you know i feel like some of this bad behavior that you're dealing with here um maybe uh you know is a reminder here or is um maybe also sort of surfacing maybe your deepest fears as well i just feel like it's really highlighting your insecurities just remember when someone goes low you go high you do not stoop to their level so you know be graceful be the forgiving one be the mature one in this uh, relationship okay um try and keep calm during this conflict during the storm that you're feeling here because the one who lashes out or says mean and hurtful things is always the one who regrets it, right? Is always the one wishing that they could take it back. This is very intense. And sometimes you feel like, you know, there's no one in the world who understands you like this particular energy. And at the same time, you feel like, you know, on the flip side of the coin, sometimes you feel like there's no one in the world who misunderstands you in the way that this person does as well. I feel like what you got to, what the two of you have to do is you have to evolve. Okay, you have to evolve and become the best versions of yourself and ultimately that's why they've entered your life here. It does feel intense and some of you are probably asking yourself like it, it, you know doesn't it just too feel intense to stay in this type of a connection because I feel like when it's good, you know, it's pure bliss, it's exciting, it's exhilarating, it's amazing. But when it's not good, you know, it's not so good here. It's tense. It's frustrating. It's painful. It's just, it's very intense here. I feel like try and look at this from a, I guess, a soul perspective. And when you look at it from a soul or a spiritual perspective, essentially you are the same soul. You, you know, you're the same energy here. Your natural state of being is one here. So that feels normal, I guess. That doesn't feel so intense when you kind of look at it that way. But when you look at it from a you know a humanistic perspective that's when it gets a little bit intense right there's a lot of emotions here i feel that that are involved in this connection and i feel like your person here is a both I feel that the both of you, you and your twin flame here, can really handle these experiences and can really handle these emotions and what's going on here. But I feel like you both have to be able to, you're both built for this, I feel. Okay, and I feel like it's evolving you. And I feel like even if you are in a disagreement or a separation or a breakup, I don't think you guys have let each other go energetically speaking. I feel like you guys are still very much attached from what I'm seeing. I feel like a lot of you kind of have to focus inwards right now. Okay, because remember when, when you know, someone's dealing with a twin flame, they're dealing with a lot more energy than they would be if it, if it were soul-based here. A twin flame is... This person is here to help you on your journey. To They're here to love you. They're here to help you... Um, grow to help you evolve to transform you here and sometimes they do and you do too you know you, you struggle because your emotions get in the way your feelings towards one another your addiction your attraction towards one another the fact that you guys romanticize each other the fact that you guys romanticize this tension this conflict this co this constant state of arguing or you know friction and altercation between one another you, you romanticize what potentially is an unhealthy relationship here Okay, just learn to take a, a, a breath here and just learn to sort of um, let go here and be patient with yourself, with your twin flame and this twin flame journey that you're on, guys, because this, this is intense. See if you can also meditate here. Um, you know, try and remain calm and see if you can meditate because that can help you um, just improve your physical, mental and uh, spiritual energy here. If you feel like some of this is getting too intense, and I feel like for some of you it is, see if you can sort of lean 
lean into the universe here or like your, your spirit guides here see if you can let you know the universe here shed some light for you on how to navigate this journey here so you can try and remain calm here don't focus too much on these you know on the little things or the short-term problems here because they're going to magnify and amplify here instead you know focus on you know understand the journey here the more you understand the journey the more that you're going to prepare yourself with this intensity because it is it is intense okay and you probably haven't been here before and it's scary and it's full-on it's a lot here but i do feel like this is someone who loves you um i do feel like you know there's such a richness of emotion they're not all positive emotions because i do feel like there's some anger some jealousy you know there's not all positive emotions but there's just so much here i feel don't judge your twin flame don't judge yourself as well okay it doesn't matter every twin flame experience is unique and different don't try to compare yourself to someone else's journey because um, it won't be the same here you won't have the same signs um, the same timeline so don't do that if you're doing it um and don't increase this intensity by trying, by expecting more, more from this person, more from this journey, more from yourself, you know, by putting pressure here or trying to control and manipulate the outcome. Go with the flow, okay? Let these emotions flow through you, let it flow out of you because it is intense, but you have to feel it in order to help, you know, this twin flame transform you and your journey here. Also, see if you can raise your vibration here as well. All right, guys, and these are your messages. Thank you as always for watching and listening. Please show your support by liking, sharing, and subscribing.